when the one who, when the, when the one whose hand you're holding is the one who holds your heart, when the one whose eyes you gaze into gives your hopes and dreams their start, when the one you think of first and last is the one who holds you tight, and the things you bond together make them seem just right. When the one whom you believe in puts their faith and trust in you, you found the one and only love you'll share your full and faith. I, Jordan Lee. Take you, Rachel Rosemary. Take you, Rachel Rosemary. To be your wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. Yes. For better for us. For better for us. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So death was do part. So death was do part. Over the past six years, we've grown to love Jordan's precious little moments. He's a very kind and generous guy who loves Rachel to bits. He's very territorial about where he sits and if challenged, he will take you up on the bet. <laughs> but recently, we have found out who Jordan's hero is. <laughs> it's Mr. Peter Andre. <laughs> So Rachel, when you're on the beach and Peter comes running out of the sea with his ripped muscles, tearing his shirt off, we all know that he's found his mysterious girl. Let the word of Christ dwell in your richly teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and with gratitude in your hearts sing psalms hymns and spiritual songs to god and whatever you do in word or deed do everything in the name of lord jesus giving thanks to the lord our father through him Now, I want to talk about my beautiful wife, Rachel Brillerton. I think it's the first time I've called her today. I know. I know that I've wrote it down, but I don't need a piece of paper to tell you all how much I care about Rachel. <clears throat> so, um, I just want to tell you how lucky I am to have such a beautiful wife, best friend, yet yeah, Zorro, Maverick, you've both been replaced after today. <clears throat> <laughs> Me and Rachel, we have done loads of travelling together. We've done a number of countries and done a number of amount of activities like snorkelling and zip lining. She truly is my best friend and she means the absolute world to me. There isn't a thing in this world I wouldn't do for this amazing woman and I just want to thank Michael and Margaret for making such a perfect person and also I'm just glad that Nicholas didn't disturb you down at that blackberry bush. <laughs> Should not have let me uh, watch your wedding video. So thank you, Nicholas. So, <laughs> anyway, can I raise a toast to Rachel? Cheers. Rachel, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body. With my body. I honor you. I honor you. All that I am. All that I am. I give to you. I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. I share with you. Within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jordan, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, and all that I have, I share with you. I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. You're married, you may kiss the bride.
It was only upon coming back from our stand doing Benny Dorm that Jordan came down to my house and he got down on one knee. It's usually two, but this time it was just the one. Um, no, honestly, I, I was I was touched, and um, not not just on our stag doing Benny Dorm, but I don't want to get into that. <laughs> When Jordan asked me to be his mess man, I thought, of course he's going to ask me, I'm amazing. <laughs> also, I'm his only friend. The only reason why he asked Brandon is so he looks taller in pictures. <laughs> 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 uh, me and Jordan have known each other since secondary school. I was the fat one, and he was the skinny one. Look how time has changed. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought I'd share the first time Jordan met his first love. Me. <laughs> As I said before, we met in school. It was a beautiful sunny day, I remember that. Jordan saw me from across the schoolyard. He walked over to me, looked deep into my eyes. Then he threatened to fight me. <laughs> he actually did. We didn't end up fighting. I think he saw sense. And we've been best friends ever since. I'm going to end it with a soppy note, and that is a message to Rachel. If Jordan treats you even as half as well as he's treating me, you'll be perfectly looked after. Rachel, stunning as ever. Absolutely gorgeous in that address. The suits. Jordan, I mean, you look alright, mate. I mean, it's going, to, it's going to take a miracle work to make you look half as good as me, now, let's be honest. So let's talk to the happy couple and welcome Pete, uh, Jordan into our family. We all leave your glasses to a new Mr. and Mrs. Bremerton. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, yeah, no. Whether we did, oh, shut your feet.